and welcome to part two of my bookshelf tour. If you'd like to see part one, you can click above. Let's get going with part two of the bookshelf tour. On to the next shelf. We have item number four and the rise of nine. We also do have the power of six, but it's out with a friend. And then the giver, gathering blue, and messenger, which are all kind of tied into the same world. The fourth one, Sun, came out. I would really like to read it, but I haven't gotten to it yet. A book on writing, the first five pages. Then there's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Then there's kind of a Russian urban fantasy, I guess you would call it, series. It's got vampires involved. I haven't read it. My husband has, though. High Risk, Children Without a Conscious, which was for class. Nectar and a Sieve. George R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones. I told you things were out of order. That's the first one. Peter's Anthony. There's the other Peter's Anthony book. The Golden Ass. I sold my soul on eBay, which is a signed copy. Another lecture at my university. Taipei by Herman Melville. Picoverse, which is a sci-fi novel. And then the Twilight books, which continue on to the next shelf. On the bottom shelf, there's Breaking Dawn and The Host. And then it's just a Tom Clancy novel. I think my husband got out of airport when he was bored. Paradise Lost. Part of a fantasy series. Three Cups of Tea. Monster, The Guide by R.K. Naranian, Nietzsche, Beyond Good and Evil, Garth Nix Sabriel, The Darwin Awards book, just kind of funny, Frankenstein's Monster, an Onion book from the Onion website, Our Dumb World, one in a fantasy series called The Hounds of Morrigan, and then Brissinger and Inheritance. Inheritance is a signed copy from the same website. I got the George R. R. Martin and the Magicians by Love Grossman. Then a few by Gary Paulson, Hatchet, Brian's Return, Brian Winter, and then some Tamora's Pierce books. Then I'll continue to the middle shelf we skipped before. I've got A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner, John Gardner's Grendel, Godless, The Alchemist, Chasing Redbird, and then The Wind in the Door, which is part of the Wrinkle in Time novels, H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, the first book in the Foundation Trilogy by Isaac Asimov, Looking for Alaska and Abundance of Catherine by John Green, Blood Magic by Tessa Grattan, which is also signed, I got that same event with Maggie Stefader and Brennan Yovanoff, The Wanderer's Tale, which I have not read, but I grabbed it from the dollar store, No Plot, No Problem, and Plot and Structure books about writing, I think the No Plot, No Problem is the official NaNoWriMo book. Uh, Terry Brooks book, one of the part of his fantasy series. Emma Jane Austen. Then Forbidden Journeys, which is a collection of fantasy stories by Victorian women writers. House of Spirits, Isabella Lond. Skellig. Another humor book. Ken Follett, World That End. I haven't read any of that trilogy. I believe I got that from my mom, but I haven't read any of them yet. And I'm not even sure if that one's the first in the series. Dan Brown, Angels and Demons, which is a nice copy that was a gift from someone. It has pictures of all the statues and the paintings and the buildings that they refer to, so that was nice to read along with it, and you can kind of see the things they were talking about. And then Terry Goodgines, The Omen Mission, which is actually part of the Sword of Two series. And then something my one of my friends gave me, the Barrytown Trilogy, which I'm not sure what it's about, but I will read it eventually. And on to the last shelf. Terry Pratchett's Masquerade, Luna. Complete Tales of Edgar Allan Poe, an anthology, given to me the same friend who gave me the Grimm's Fairy Tale Anthology. Reading Like a Writer, a guide for people who love books and for those who want to write them. Canther Pura, a YA fantasy book that's part of a series, which is Night of Fear. Book on customer service from work. Anne Rice's Interview with a Vampire. And then some Rick Riordan novels. The Meryl Street Movie Club, which I got for signing up on a publisher's email list. I haven't read it yet. I'm not generally into too much contemporary, but thought I'd give it a chance. Sarah's Key, Great Plains, The Backyard Homestead, which has some information on gardening and raising chickens and pigs and goats and whatever. Eventually I'd like to have a house where I have some chickens and a garden. So Then the Harry Potter series, the first four, and then it continues on the next shelf, which they do not have their desk jackets anymore. Those are the same ones I had when I first got them as a child. So they're very beat up. They've got stains. The corners are really bad. But I keep them around because I love them, and they're my first Harry Potter novels. Then on to the next shelf, the rest of the Harry Potter novels, which actually have their desk jackets, and Tales of Beetle the Bard. Two Salmon Rushdie novels, The Enchantions of Florence and Midnight's Children, Empress of the World by Sarah Ryan, 
Same in Juliana in Hollywood, The Catcher in the Rye, Persepolis, which is a graphic novel. Really good one. The Lovely Bones, Midsummer Night's Dream, Romeo and Juliet, Frankenstein. There's two copies there, and then a third one that has Frankenstein, Dracula, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which is for a class. I have those multiple copies because different classes wanted different editions. Cracking India, Poetry by Sir Philip Sidney, Train to Pakistan, Abraham Lincoln's Vampire Hunter, and Mouse 1 and 2, their graphic novels. And the one in the end is Q&A, which was made into the movie Slumdog Millionaire, which is quite different from the movie, but they're both, I think, equally good, just in different ways. And the bottom shelf, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, Idols of the King by Alfred Lord Tennyson, Balefire, which has all four of the Balefire series by Kate Tiernan, and then some of the Kate Tiernan sweep novels, the rest are out, lent to a friend, The Hobbit by J.R. Tolkien, The Devil Wears Prada, Another War of the World, I didn't even realize I had two copies, Kate Wilhelm's Where Late the Sweet Birds Sing, Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters, and I used to have Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, but I lent it to someone, and then they lost it, which is never good. The Book Thief, two textbooks, psychology and geology, some Writer's Inks books, and then all those ones, those multicolored ones in the right, are various literature anthologies, American and British, for classes, and then there's some engineering textbooks of my husband's on the end, so those aren't terribly interesting, at least to me. And then I just want to show you on top here, I keep my library books, ones that I've borrowed from friends, or the ones that I'm currently reading, as well as my two Kindles. I have two because one is linked to my mom's account, which she had originally gifted me her older generation Kindle. And she has so many books, it's nice to keep it there. And when she buys them, I can read them as well. And then the top one, this one right here, is my Kindle Touch. It's linked to my own account. So that concludes my bookshelf tour. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, you can subscribe above. If you enjoyed this video, you can like it, or you can comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.